I'm reviewing Anchor Powerhouse 2, model number A1730, is 388 watt hour with 14.4 volt and 27 amp AH. If and it comes with a DC input 65 watt maximum through this port, USB C input which is 5 volt, 3 ampere, 9 volt, 3 ampere, 15 volt, 3 ampere, 20 volt, 3 ampere, and maximum 60 watt in. Charging ratio is 106 watt. And it's charging from both USB-C 50 watt and DC in 60 watt. This is the adapter came with this unit. And I'm using a USB-C charger. So if I unplug this one, it will double the time. And because it's 60 watt, and when I plug USB-C, and unplug the DC in, it's going to jump 48 watt. Two watt actually consumption by the screen over here. Once it turn off, it go with the 50 watt. So let's plug both of them. That's how it's gonna charge. And this one have uh, three USB USB ports, one USB C port, DC in. This is cigarette lighter or car charger, and it's rated 12.2 volt DC, and is regulated along with these small two charging spots as well. And here we have 110, 300 watt AC power, but I tested and it actually go easily 350 um, watts. And it's pure sign wise, 60 Hertz technology. The light on the side is just okay. It's not that bright, but it's just okay. It's kind of a iPhone LED light. This one is ambient light, it's not that much, uh, it's not going to bright your room at all, but it will give you a pretty good light where you can see. So one, two, three, three modes. This side, this one have a fan, I believe this side. And I'm going to, this comes with actually a USB-C to USB-C cable. USB A to USB C cable, car charger, and 60 watt adapter. So, all right, I connected the heater, 270 watt heater, portable heater with the AC power out on all key system, and you can see it's taking 238 watt. Now I try to connect the charging adapter to charge this device so and to test the pass through so as soon i connect a usb c 50 watt it actually dropped down the total usage of 245 to 188 and then i connected another 60 watt it dropped down more 60 watts like 110 watts dropped down because the voltage is um, more than what the what the input of the device is that's why it actually taking 50% from the outside source and 50% from the battery bank. So now I'm adding more load to this device and I added fan, refrigerator to AC, light bulb, and I connected heater and it's exceeded to 345 watts. And this thing is rated to 300 watt, but it's actually running more load as is mentioned. And this is unbelievable, this is very, cool because it's, it's working fine and it's a little bit time but it will run for a little time than expected but it runs it shows that it runs after charging the powerhouse i actually run the fridge and i was able to run this refrigerator through the dc output which is rated 12.2 so i was not able to run the refrigerator on high mode which is 14.4 because this is actually an cap to 12.2 so and i was able to run 23 hours non-stop and i was able to freeze the bottles what i put it inside so 
and it was consuming 38 uh, 38 to 40 to 30 watts that is my vehicle and i'm getting 14.4 volt output from the cigarette uh, charger and i'm able to charge this lk device 55 watt and when i connect ac power which i have a uh, option in my car and i was double the charging input on the de on this device so the the downside is that this uh, the battery actually is 12.2 out output so when i turn off my car and as and i turn it on on accessory mode i was not able to turn on or charge this Aoki powerhouse because i was getting 12.2 voltage dc so mean that i have to have 14.4 plus volts then i will able to charge Aoki device i hope you like my review thank you so much bye bye